Hello everyone, how's it going? This is Tudor coming up to you again with another episode of Tutorials. This is tutorial number four and um, it's the second episode about building your cryptocurrency trading bot uh, using Python. First of all, we want the trading data for um, a particular symbol. Uh, the second thing we want to get out of the Binance interface is we want to get all the symbols that are currently trading. So we want to get all, all of them, all the pairs. And the third thing we, we want to do um, is actually placing orders. Uh, and that can be placing a new order or, or also canceling an order. There's a lot to do. Uh, so let's get on with it. Woo! San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get the service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. trading model and we're going to use the newly created Binance class uh, to get all the data um, 
and uh, then we're going to compute another strategy and we're going to display it here Basically, um, what the Bollinger Bands are uh, and how to compute them. So you get the uh, you get a certain moving average on your um, on your chart, and what you do is you take that moving average and then you lower it by um, two units, and that's going to be the lower Bollinger Band, and then you uh, make it higher by two units, and that's going to be the upper Bollinger Band. Let me illustrate that. This is the, the moving average and the, the lower Bollinger Band is, is this one and the higher Bollinger Band is this one. Why these lines are not exactly the same um, is because um, when there's a more there when there's a higher um, a change in in price so as you as you can see um, let's say for this for this area the price was going up and down within a certain range right well we, we can also see that the Bollinger Band was not very um, thick when the price kind of like broke that range and, and, and went into a much higher range then also the Bollinger Band um, its thickness increased, and then you know as we kind of went on, um, then then the range sort of diminished, and and so did the width of of the band. Um, a straightforward strategy would be to see um, when the price actually hits um, uh, the lower Bollinger Bands, and we can buy it at that point and then also to see when uh, it hits a higher Bollinger Band and then we can sell it.
fulfill we'll just go with the Bollinger strategy and see see how that goes so we'll make it like say 98 save it and we'll make it on the 4 hourly chart 4H Hey. Already, so it happened once here. <laughs> we can see that the price is uh, the price is here is lower than the Bollinger Band. Um. So this might be a good time to buy this thing. So. Uh, what we did today was we coded um, the Binance class containing all these functions that will give us data from Binance and that will also allow us to place and cancel orders on our own account and so far we only took advantage of the of the getting data functions and we haven't placed any orders yet and in the trading model, uh, we've changed it up a little bit to use the newly created Binance class. And we coded uh, two strategy, one, an, uh, an older one, which we used before as well, and then a newer one uh, using the Bollinger Band. And then we uh, run a trading model. Um, uh, basically, we run through all the trading symbols on Binance and checked whether either of those strategies um, are fulfilled on the very particular uh, on the very last uh, on the very last price point next up what we're gonna do is um, <clears throat> we're going to actually be placing orders on the exchange so I'm going to flesh out these strategies a little bit so that they're a bit more you know likely to um, to be profitable and I'm going to run uh, run this trading bot in the same manner but whenever our strategy is uh, fulfilled then we're going to be able to place an order if we choose to and then I'm going to put it on a web server so that uh, you don't need to keep it on your computer running all the time please leave comments below you know on what 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 else you think I should be working on uh, either in the trading bot or any other kind of project that you might want to know about. That was it for today. Have a good one and see you next time.